Hi, I'm Beth. I'm a math teacher, and I'm going to show those of you who are interested how you might multiply by half a percent. To begin with, it'll be easy to just look at how you multiply by percents. And a real world reason why you might want to do this is because you might have a percentage discount and you want to figure out how much that store is really saying your price will be decreased. So, say you find a pair of shoes that are $56, but they're 15% off. The way you go about multiplying by a percent is simply saying times 15 percent. But this doesn't look very good in an equation, does it? So instead, we're going to turn this 15 percent into a fraction of 15 per cent. Again, 100 and cent actually mean the same thing, uh, Latin. Latin-wise, there's a root there. So 15 percent, and then you can go ahead and turn that into a decimal. 15 over 100 is the same as 15 hundredths. Awesome. Now let's get back to 56 times 15 hundredths. That's easy enough to do. You simply go through the multiplication algorithm. I'm going to take that zero off because it doesn't actually make a difference and it's cleaner here. So 5 times 6 is 30. 5 and 5, 25. 3 more is 28. I drop my zero since the one is in the tens place. One and six, that's a six. One and five, that's a five. It is time to add. Eight and six is 14. Seven and eight, fantastic. My shoes are $840 off. No. We have to get back to the fact that there was a decimal right here, and that decimal needs to be reflected in the answer. That decimal was one, two place values in, and so we will put one, two place values in there will be a decimal. So actually those $56 shoes are $8.40 off. We're dealing with dollars, put our units in. Fantastic. That's how we can multiply by a percentage. Now if you wanted to multiply by half of 1%, let's first look at what that is. 1% there. So half a percent would be 0.5%. And if you wanted to multiply that, you would need to do the same, uh, same thing we did up here where we said, well, 0.5% is the same as 0.5 over 100 or 0.5 divided by 100. And when we divide by 100, we're moving it two place values out. So we'd actually have divided by 0, 0.05. It's in the thousandths place, place now. We started from the tenths, divided by 100. Now we have five thousandths. So if you, want to divide, if you want to multiply by half a percent, go through this same formula using 0.005.